Alright guys, your boy's back, and today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you top 3 anime of spring 2020. Now, I know that summer is literally just about to end, and fall is about to pick up literally today, is like the last day. But, I've done this before in the past, so it's nothing new. So we're just gonna go in and start off with number 3. For number 3, I got My Next Life as a Villainess, All Routes Lead to Doom. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Life as a Villainess, because the name's too long. But that being said, this thing is fantastic. I absolutely love it. My sexual harem is absolutely the new wave. And you know, the crazy thing about this is that I was really going to get the- I saw the manga and I'm like, I'm gonna get that, but I never did. And eventually the anime came out, so that was really cool. This was just a super fun show. Like, uh, all the funny moments and stuff were really funny to me. The, uh, what's it called? Season 2 has actually already been confirmed, which is really, really nice. And I'm all caught up on the manga, so that just goes to show, just like, I went and got the manga. I think before the final episode, before the final episode, I literally bought it and I got scammed a little bit. I got scammed a little bit. I got a notebook by accident that had the Manga 1 cover on it. But I returned it. Everything went well. But yeah, so this show was super fun. The character designs are cool. I like the magic thing. I like how it's not too serious at all. It tried to be a little bit serious and on those things, I didn't really feel like the emotions and stuff. But other than, but I was able to just kind of like brush that off. It didn't really bother me too much. But what's it called? It was just absolutely fantastic to watch. The characters were, again, funny. They were enjoyable. The setting was really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say about that. All right, so coming in number two, I got Kaguya-sama Love is War season two. Season one was amazing. Season two was even better. In fact, I really thought this was going to be uh, number one, but you'll see what's coming up. But yeah, season two was just extremely enjoyable. Literally every episode was fantastic, not a single one. They had a new character introduced and they did a really good job with that character. I think she fits in really well. It's really, really good. Like, there was just so many, like, I even made a video, I think like I think it was like, let's, uh, episode 4, let's talk about it, whatever. I also made, not made like two videos on it. It was like, it was great. They were just really good episodes. And I was going to make a third video on it, but I was like, okay, that's that's enough. I had, okay, that's enough. And I got too lazy to do it anyway. But yeah, like, it was just, it just topped the last season, which is crazy how you could top something that was so good. And yeah, like, there's just no negative thing about the second season. It was great. Development was great. Advancement was great. The new characters were great. I think there's only like two new characters, but still, they were great. They got more shine on other characters as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. It just, it was great. Oh, the opening. It was really cool. Like, the song isn't something that I jam out to or, like, get on my phone. But paired up with the, uh, the actual visuals of the opening, it's actually really nice. And something that I vibe to a lot. So yeah, so now I have the honorable mentions. Now, there's quite a few. There's actually, no. I say a few of them, but there's only three. So the first one is Dropkick on My Devil Season 2. Now, the problem with this was that all the episodes, all like 11 or 12 episodes, dropped in one day. Like the first week of spring 2020, all episodes dropped on one day. Yeah, they just dropped them all. And uh, so like because of that, it's kind of un like I, I binge watched that. I couldn't control myself. I was like, I thought about it. I'm like, maybe I should just um, watch them weekly with like the anime and just kind of do it but i'm like no what if i get spoilers things like that i just i don't want to deal with any of that like you know i don't want to have to like what's called tiptoe around instagram or like reddit or anything like that because i don't want to get spoiled for uh dropkick on my devil so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna watch it i'm not gonna count it for top three like it was really good i really enjoyed it i thought it was great but because it dropped in one day i couldn't because i was gonna watch all of it like in two days or one or two days right so because of that I do that week one, and then like 12 weeks later, when all the anime finished, I had already, I probably have already forgotten about it, or probably not been as, what's it called, um, it's not gonna be as recent in my mind, so maybe it doesn't have the edge to compete, or maybe I'll be sympathetic and put it as top three, but I don't want those to be the reasons why it's top three, so I just completely didn't count it for my top three, it's because, but it was a really good show, I absolutely loved this, second season was great, they introduced some new characters, really good characters too, I like them. And yeah, it was just it was just really fun. So the second audible mention is Diary of Our Days at Breakwater. This is a problem. Coronavirus stopped it at episode three. So basically three episodes, I believe, or maybe two episodes passed by, and then they're like, okay, COVID, bam, cancel. Well, not cancel, but put on hold. And so it never finished. It only had three episodes. So just based on those three episodes, it had the potential 
to be number two or number one. It was really, really, like, those three episodes were really nice. I absolutely loved it and really wish it would have continued. Now, I know this is super late and it's actually airing right now in this season, but I'll talk about that in the next video for your top three anime of summer. So, yeah, so it was just really good. And that's pretty much all I had to say about it because there's only three episodes. It was just good. And I, yeah, I could go off of what's it called, the current, but this is back then. This video should have been out before it's continued now. So, yeah. So, coming up next for honorable mention, the third one is Tamayomi. Or Tamayomi? Something like that. It basically, it's a baseball anime. And it wasn't, like, uh, this is weird. So, as for the characters, all but, like, three of them, I kind of just forgot. And, like, I just don't remember. Like, I just didn't remember, what's it called, how they joined. Like, I was on, like, episode eight or nine. And I'm like, who are these people? I genuinely just did not really know who they were. Maybe it's my fault for not paying too much attention, but I don't know, they just really captivate me. And so, like, it just wasn't really that great. But the baseball matches were actually pretty cool. I actually really did like how they did the baseball matches. I didn't think I would, but I really did. There was, like, episode three, or I don't know which episode, but there was an episode, like, the animation was just god-awful. Like, it was, like, season three of Deadly Sins type shit. And, oh my god. But apparently there was a problem, like, they sent, like, the studio sent the wrong version to be, what's it called? what's it called to be uploaded or whatever i don't know the point is i think they got the wrong version or whatever and that's why the animation was so bad it wasn't supposed to be that one it's supposed to be a different one but it was just really funny to watch it and it only con it was only for that episode it didn't continue out but yeah like i said the baseball matches were cool and that's really all you really need yeah, that's why I, th I think it was okay all right now coming in at number one the t best anime of spring 2020 for me is i'm gonna have trouble saying this cock my dad's secret ambition, I'm not saying the first part, I, I struggle, it's like Kakuchi Goto or something like that. The point is my dad's secret ambition, this was absolutely amazing. It's pretty much everything I wanted in terms of an anime in the sense that it's, it's different. It's not, you know, it's not something that has a basic outline of something else, you know. Like I've seen, uh, what's it called, a father and daughter anime before, you know, my, my, what is it, uh, Sweetness is Lightning or something like that, my Sweetness and Lightning. You know, that was a great show, too. But this was, like, that. Like that's, like, the only one I really remember. I mean, you have, what's it called? Listen to me, girls, I'm your father, or whatever. But, like, he's, like, 20 years old or something like that. He's, like, a college student. And, like, he inherits these kids. Like, is they're not biological or anything like that. You know, it's not, like, dealing with, like, a, like an older adult or anything like that. And, like, as opposed to, like, Sweetness and Lightning. Yeah, and they're a bit on the younger side. They're not, like, 35, 36. But they have, like, it's just great. I really loved it. It was, like... Like the episodes were super fun and like there's just so many things right with this first things first Goto sensei the main character has the same voice actor as Araragi from the Monogatari 30 series automatic dub That's so good. That's so amazing and it fits so well I don't know why it's just like this is Araragi if he was old it could be it really it really felt like that but like they were just oh man this, this show was amazing because like like all the episodes were like super fun and enjoyable but there was like this underlying uh what's it called sad mystery going on at the end of every episode or at the beginning of every episode like it just like it's like a small like it's telling you like something bad happened in the future and then you go back to the past and then you get little hints of the future like at the end of the episodes and like you're piecing it together until you get to the very end and honestly i think it was done pretty well i like the ending it was uh, it was more on the comedic side of things, but and it was what's it called a uh, happy ending, which I greatly appreciate. But yeah, I thought it was really good. I really did enjoy it, and it's just like, oh man, like yeah, it's just like all the episodes really hit me in the feels when it hits you with like, like they were not all the episodes, a lot of the episodes hit you in the feels for me. Like it was great. It was just absolutely superb. The characters were great. I liked all except for that one guy who manages. Goto Sensei, he was a, a bit of a pain. I saw in the comments a lot that people really didn't like him or whatever. But I, I feel like he has a little something to it. So, you know, he's not like... So even though he's not my cup of tea, I'm not going to say he's like... Like, it's a terrible thing for the anime. No, I get it. I get it, you know. But regardless, it was absolutely fun. I liked all the characters. A lot of cool stuff was going on. It was just... And it's such a really cool tech, you know. A father and daughter focused anime is not something you see very, very often. As opposed to like Isekai's... Uh, rom-coms high school rom-coms you know it's it's different it's different and so that's why i put it as my number one it was just it was just amazing though it really really was so yeah 
that's all for the what's it called this video um top three of summer 2020 it's probably gonna come out tomorrow or maybe the next day within like three days trust me within three days i'll have it done i really will and then i'll get back onto pokemon so yeah so if you guys did enjoy go ahead and leave a like and i'll see you guys next time goodbye